Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Otis for Educators for this Google Instructional Skills video. Today, I'm going to go over with you the settings within a Google Classroom. So I'm going to go there now. So there are two different places to edit settings, two different types of settings. The first one is within an individual class. So here I have opened my individual science class here. So the way that I can access the settings for this class is by clicking on the gear in the upper right. When I click on that, I have some options here. I can edit the class details, such as the name, add a class description, put a section number if I have multiple sections, a room number, and a subject if I'd like. Going down further, under general, I can make changes to the class code. Remember, that's how students can join your class. So if you click on the class code, you can copy it to paste elsewhere. You can reset the class code if you want to change it for whatever reason, and you can disable the class code if, say, all of your students have already joined. Next thing we have here is the stream. Students can post and comment. That's the default, meaning that they can post and comment whatever they'd like in the stream. Some teachers like turning that off, so you have some other options here. Students can only comment. That means that they can only comment on things that you post, or only teachers can post or comment. Um, classwork in the stream, this is just how the classwork will appear on the stream. So by default, it will be condensed notifications with just the name and due date. You can have it be that it will show the attachments and details, or you can hide those altogether. If you choose to show deleted items, those are things that you've posted and then deleted. Uh, those will only be visible to you as a teacher. All right, scrolling down now to grading. In here, we can create grade categories. So I have now four grade categories in this class, one for quizzes, tests, participation, and homework. You can customize these, make them be whatever you'd like. But the reason you'd like to do this is you can assign an assignment into a grade category. So if I were to put an assignment in the test category, it would be worth more when I go to grade it and it would be weighted like that in the gradebook. So you can create these however you'd like. You can show the overall grade to your students. So that would allow them to see their grade as the semester or quarter progresses. You can decide how you'd like to show the overall grade, whether it be total points or weighted by category. So you have those options here. So these are the settings for an individual class. Now let's take a look at the Google Classroom settings. These are settings that affect all of your classes. So what I just did there is click on the hamburger, scroll down in this window, and then go at the bottom where it says settings, click that. So within here, you can change your profile picture. If for whatever reason you don't like your G Suite for Education profile picture, you want your students to see something else, you can change it from here. You can manage your Google settings uh, by clicking on this button. Those would be settings for all of your other Google apps and services. Scrolling down now, this is where we can modify how we get notified when students do something in the class. So a lot of teachers like getting these notifications. It lets them know if a student has posted something, has commented, etc. But others get overwhelmed by the quantity of emails that they get. So within here, you can edit these, turn these on or off. Say, for example, if you don't want to get notified every time someone posts a private comment, you can turn that off. And for the classes that you're enrolled in, maybe you're enrolled in your admi an administrator's class where they're posting information for you, you can modify the settings of how you'll be notified here. For the classes you teach, so when a student submits something late, maybe you don't want to get that notification to your email, you can turn that off. Going down further are class notifications. So you can turn email and mobile notifications on or off for an entire class. So say, for example, you're a co-teacher in a class and you um, don't want to be notified every time your teacher, your other, uh, the other teacher posts something, you could turn off notifications for an entire class um, or just, you know, um, customize it however you'd like. So you can turn on notifications for an entire class or turn them off. 
You can also turn off email notifications altogether. So if I turn that off, I won't get any email notifications at all. So those were the settings within a Google Classroom. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Otis for Educators for this Google Instructional Skills video. Be sure to stay tuned for other instructional skills videos, and we'll see you again soon.